Did you literally just die? It's just... Alright. Nope, I spelled it right. It is all in all caps. Testing, testing, one, two, three. What's up guys? Welcome back to another live stream here at the Rainid King Ray. Today I felt like playing this game. It's called Soma. On. Close caption. On. Headphones. On. Back. Gamma. Let's make it extra spooky, extra atmospheric. All right. Now let's rock on into it. The way that the game was designed from the start. <sighs> Hopefully there's no audio that'll get me in trouble. I hope not. Reality is that which, when you stop believing in it, doesn't go away. Are you okay, Simon? I think you're bleeding. Oh, that, that's nothing. It's just my brain can't stop bleeding from the accident. Here, take this. No, that, that's for later, for the scan. It's green. Ashley, I need to tell you something. Simon, please don't make this weird. No, no, it's not like that. Why now? Who's David Lynch? Why is there never enough time? For what? Christ. Yeah, I'm up. Hi, Simon Jarrett? Yeah, that's me. My name is David Munchie. We spoke earlier. The brain scan. I remember. Are you alright? Yeah, yeah, just a bad dream. Are, are we still on for today? Yeah, that's why I'm calling. I wanted to remind you to drink the tracer fluid I sent you. It'll help me capture a better image of the damages. Don't worry, I, I, I got it somewhere. Okay, great. Well, I'll see you in a couple of hours then. Okay, see you soon.
All right. Uh huh. Hey Simon, it's Jesse. You working this weekend or what? I knew there was something you were doing. Was it this weekend or next? Anyhow, just shoot me a message uh. or something. Oh. Love you, Mister Mean It. End of messages. I swear that guy has the memory of a goldfish. I even sent an email to remind him, didn't I? Alright, so we can rotate objects. Uh, uh. Not really good at throwing yeah, things. Alright. Alright, All right. Why? Because I'm a menace. Eh. Fuck you, Spoon. Wow. Must be a college kid. Tracer fluid, where are you? All right, let me turn off the light. Make it more. Here we go. Widely praised is what is the most comprehensive yet e comprehensive yet accessible text about anatomy of the human brain, its function, and our perception of consciousness. Find out how your brain is dependent on its body. Why the brain is simply not a computer. And a multitude of other interesting facts that will help you, that will make your head spin. This edition also includes two new chapters about the development of the brain and how it affects, how it affects our behavior in different stages of our lives. Oh. Uh-oh, I dropped the soap. Whoops. Turn on all the lights. Frack up a bill. It's not my house. Huh. Oh. Squeaky. Please, dude, close your cabinets. Please. Um, that's not good. Oh. Uh, downtown accident kills younger woman Friday, April 10th, 2015. Toronto, yesterday, a driver back distracted by her children ran a red light, causing her to blindside a car in the intersection of Bloor Street and Spadina Road. A mother and her children traveling a robust SUV left bruised but largely unharmed the other party was less lucky as the car crashed into the passenger side ashley hall 23 sustained devastating damage and suffocated from blood trapped in her lungs before the ambulance arrived her friend and driver simon jarrett 26 survived but with complicated results believed to leave him with permanent brain damage the driver of the SUV, whose name has not been released by police, claims it was an accident and practically unavoidable. Yes, it was! If you decided to teach your damn kids discipline, maybe you would have... I can tell your kids to shut the fuck up or they're not going, getting to go to Peter Piper or whatever the fuck. 
Cinema Variety. Some are blockbusters. Japanimation bigger than ever. Stunts versus CGI. What's a bottle movie? Massive recoil. Flawless execution. In the moment I'm being summoned. <laughs>
Oh, all right, what's up? I'm back. All right. Thank you for participating in our research. Scan will be performed at Pace Laboratories in on Toronto. <coughs> but since we are guests, our access is a bit unpredictable. Uh, I will try to schedule a scan session for Saturday. Oh, turn that down. I'll get back to you when confirmed. After you hear your headaches have become less frequent, so our latest stats show your brain is slowly recovering. But it's still too early to tell how well it will adjust to the damage. The bleeding will continue over the coming months at least. And you will need to come to the hospital a few times to drain the, the cavity to prevent the blood from building up pressure. Since excessive stress could be fatal, I've written you a prescription per pro prazosin to help you with your nightmares. Please read the instructions and medicate accordingly. Try to get lots of rest. I will see you next week. Uh, since you probably forgot, oh, forgot he to hit here's send. some of Whoops. Better late than never. Huh? All right, A, it's jump. Uh-huh. Oh, so we're Canadian, D. Don't wait, no, got no holders. Massive recoil. John Hugh is a corrupt cop working in Hong Kong. One day his life is turned upside down as he meets Amber, a mysterious foreigner, who is kept prisoner by the Golden Dragon Triad, ready to go rogue. For it's time to go against the Triad, the police, and the supernatural forces of the underground. Get ready for massive recoil. Uh. Yeah. Ow. And copy and paste and go over here and delete. Oh, yeah, the blade has been caught by the runner king ray. That me copy. All right, all right, a jump, B crouch. Right trigger, interact. Turn on all the lights. Got the keys. Nothing but fast food. I should buy something healthier on my way home. There it is. It feels like milk, but the taste is like sucking on a penny. Hey, I kind of like that flavor, not gonna lie.
Ah, so he's a nerd! Who folds their clothes? Ombra della Sera Volterra. Really? There's just a freaking penis on this thing. Why? I'll drop your penis statue. Alright. You know, be a sane human being. Turn everything off. Summer's coming. Hope it's a good one. Ah, uh, that's actually a pretty view. There we go. Fully closed. Alright. Jesse. Hey, Simon. I got your email. Just wanted to wish you good luck and let you know I got you covered. Thanks. I should be able to come to the store after the scan. Don't sweat it. I got Matt and Chris help me out. Matty from SNL? Uh, guess you didn't hear. He's coming in full time. Work in the comic section. That's Ashley's job. Yeah. Well, I know. Forget it. Not doing her any favors by leaving an empty spot. Not like she's coming back. Well, good luck. Hope they find a way to reverse the whole... You know, dying thing. <laughs> dying thing? You're the worst support ever. <laughs> what should I say? I'll see you later, Jesse. Don't burn the place down while I'm gone. Over and out, buddy. Won't find me in a voting booth. All a big setup. Yeah, you're obviously the crazy one. that down, turn that up, down halfway. <sighs> Hello? Dr. Munchie? I'm to be a menace to society. Click! Where is everyone? Thought this place would be busy. <sighs> Wow, that's horrible. Enter his phone machine. <laughs> It would allow us to use the computers to run models. And also, if time slot opens, we can get in there and use the scanner rig right away. I thought we could run some tests tomorrow. We could do a scan of each other to learn about to learn the equipment. It's supposed to be pretty easy. On Friday, I'm hoping Dr. Aaron Peak send somebody over. She has a patient that was recently in a car crash, which should be interesting. <laughs> oh. 
All right, there's a note somewhere that has the, the code to the lab. Two five zero one. I do believe. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. Just reading into this is awesome. If you want, take your time. Pause it, read it. I'm moving on. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Ah! Alright. Bumper- left bumper to throw. See? Read everything. Alright, it can't move. There's no run. Ah, oh, Canada. Oh, left trigger to run. Alright. MZ3 Ant Nebula. I see it. I see it. National Oceanic and Atmospheric uh, Administration. Uh, a plug and shit. <laughs> Stab him. Uh, uh, uh. Toss it. Probably needs that. That's probably for me. I must sue technology. Oh.
Huh. <laughs> I'm a menace. Boop. Oh, hi. Didn't hear you come in. Simon Jarrett, right? Dr. Munchie? Well, it's uh, just Mr. Munchie, but I'm working on it. <laughs> Actually, you're helping me right now. Is this part of your thesis work? Yeah. It's a study I'm doing with my colleague, Paul Berg. We hope to design a gentle way to work with brain reconstruction to help people like you. Oh, did you uh, take the tracer fluid? Yes. Yes, I did. Great. Well, we can start whenever you're ready. Please, have a seat. Just have a seat and we'll be out of here in no time. Well, you can wait your ass. I'm busy. Please, have a seat. Chill out. Haha, -ha. I have control over time. I'm trying to get as many people to come out and just hang. Self promo. Post. TGD SMP. All right, I think I think that's a that's quite a bit. All right, we are about to get into like the core gameplay of.
of the well, game. This will be the bread and butter of this game. Get this out of the way. You are Simon Jarrett, correct? Right. Toronto, Canada, David Munchie. Born 1988, July 16th. Right. Flat neurograph, version 6. Good. All files in order. Will this hurt? It's just a scan. It'll hurt about as much as getting your picture taken. Indians thought cameras would steal their souls. Is that so? Well, let's hope they're wrong. <laughs> Ready? Say cheese. Uh-oh, something went wrong. What happened? Hello? Mr. Munchie? I Munchi? definitely have human arms. Did something go wrong? I'll just... Look, human arms. This isn't legs. funny. I, I'm not supposed to put myself in. This is kind of stressing me out. What the hell is this place? How did I get here? Um, I can figure this out. I just need to stay calm. No need to make things worse. I'd definitely, first thing I do, put one of these things on. I ain't taking no chances. Place does not look good. I guess, just start looking around. <laughs> Alright, what am I supposed to do? Right. 
Kali air humidifier. Nice. Gross! Super gross. Extra gross. do that. Oh, she was good and spoopy. What about this one? No. Well then, let's go this way. Whoop. Notice by what?
Oh, this is scaring me. This is very, very atmospheric, and I don't like it. If it could please stop scaring me, that would be nice. Very, very nice. This would be in the situation. Swipe Omni Tool. I don't have one of those. Just catch 24/7. It is locked. Great. Time to go towards the screams, cause that's fun. Omnitool is an advanced interface for accessing, managing, and controlling computerized systems. The onboard intelligent includes an open set of behaviors and protocols to enable the user to automate routine actions through basic log logical charts. Over time, the Omnitool will automatically adapt its programs to cover subconscious behavior to optimize work and minimize user error. The Omni tool has a short range signal useful for basic automated or automated actions such as opening doors while performing complex operations. The Omni tool should be physically connected to a workstation or terminal. Uh, to upgrade your device, simply slide operators into the main or auxiliary slot. The main slot is for has a standard C1121 connector, which allows the user to fit most market cortex chips into the Omni tool. Note that introducing an additional AI will override the onboard intelligence. The auxiliary slot is a multi-connector fitting a large range of toolchip mod models including but not limited to the A1, A2, High TT, and Juicy. Juicy. Omni tool, smart access computer. Not only is it missing its head, but that looks fresh. Hmm. Oh dear. Don't you blind me? Uh, 
Oh, it's right bumper and left analog. Remote access denied, service offline, main power suspended, program unreliable, denied. Emergency systems, 13 days remaining. Oh. Simon, substitute, Simon Jarrett, terminal scan, authorization, David Munchie, 2015, Toronto, operation unavailable, completed. What did I just unlock? Toolbox. I'm a professional hacker. Just kidding. Eh. There we go. I would have locked it, but whatever.
pilot Carl Semkin, support Amy Arazo, vehicle Tugger, heat shield success, uh, so if can record uncharacteristic levels of nausea after mission diagnostic shows a spike of electromagnetism surrounding the pilot helmet which is believable to be some consistent that can Um, all right. Better than expected. They're having a really hard time getting the doors open. Call Permaseal as many as you can, rather than take any chances. Roger. Did you cut off the factory floor? All done. Should keep most of them out. I'm on my way to lock out the comp center. Just make sure to leave a way out of here. Trust me, I'll put you the data safe and sound. We just need to make sure we leave enough power running so we don't have to return. I hear that. See you back at camp. Better than expected. All right, I got my weapon and I'm dangerous. Oh, there's the last one I had. Fuck off, ghost. Oh, you know what? Oh, okay. Oh, jeez. Hey, hey, got to finish. Can I take one of these? By chance, no. <laughs> All right.
Oh. All right. Close it, please. Not gonna lie, this is pretty freaking awesome. The atmosphere in this game is amazing. different thick structure gel they can't shake wow's freaky fishes still beautiful though can't say it doesn't look good at least Hello? What's that? Mm, can I just say nope? All right, hold on. I would like to check what kind of achievements there are. All of them are a secret. I lead out these are human hands.
All right, yeah. This definitely isn't terrifying at all. That's nice, lit, and promising. The other way is dark, scary, and locked. Fucking cheating. Totally almost didn't piss myself. Fucking give me the camp. Fucking flashlight. Fucking bag, man. A fucking bag scared the shit out of me. Hear me? I'm about to feel real horrible about what I have to do. signal blocked all right yeah don't touch the structure gel leakage can't confirm its effect on wow tissue has been reported to Severely secretly injured? That's that's an E? Uh, I don't know what that means. But I'm about to feel real horrible for this. Live in in endless fuckery. All right.
sight lambda. Oh, what is it? What? What's happening? Hello? Is there anyone there? Hey, hey, can you hear me? I hear you. Uh, Absalon, what's going on? Uh, I, I have no idea. I, I just sort of woke up here. In the room right now? Uh, it, it was it was like a, a seat with a helmet. Is that right? Uh, what's your name? I, I'm Simon Jarrett. And what do you... Oh, sing, damn relays. Where are you now? Uh, 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 some place dealing with electrical power. I, I'm not sure if it's a plant or a transformer. Uh, yeah, you're probably in a thermal plant somewhere. You want to go upstairs to the comm center. It's the room with the dome ceiling. Uh, hey, look, look, this place is not... There's something seriously wrong here. Hello? I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. We lost another relay. Just listen, head for the comm center upstairs. I'll wait here. All right, sure. I'll wait here. And she says it. She's like, as I get there, it's like, oh, I moved to this spot. Go here. Uh. Where do I want to go? Am I going that way? a lot of noise and I don't like it. went the wrong way
Whatever. Fucking pardon me. Yeah, not shit. Boop. Well, now I know. Literally. Went that whole time without being seen and. that I know what I'm doing. Ah, oh, damn. All right. Um, heal. Ugh. It doesn't hurt anymore. Not yet.
I might have to go down and talk to him. Oh, this is not gonna be fun. What the hell happened to you? What are you? Are you blind? It's me, Carl. Carl Semkin. Wrangler. Any of this sound familiar to you? I no, actually. Well, thanks for being so helpful. It's not like I'm knocked out on the floor or anything. Are you human? Shit. Did, did my body give it away? I try hard saying a mystery. Yeah, I'm human. Are you? Uh, my name is Simon. Do you know anything about this place? Oh, you knew. That makes us slightly less weird. Look, I'm obviously hurt. If you see anyone else around, just tell them where I am. All right. See ya. Um. What's wrong with you? Everything. Are you diving in sewage or something? So, where are you exactly? Are you for real? I'm right here. See me waiting? Look at my hands. Hey. Buddy. Okay, okay, I, I'm just, I'm just gonna be, I, I'm not seeing it. I, I see a machine, a robot talking. What the hell are you looking at? I'm here, see? Um, okay, I, I just didn't expect you to look like that. You're really hung up on appearances, you know that? I'm just, you know what, I'm gonna leave him. Besides the one robot blocking the whatever. Hello, King. I'm sorry, I, I think I pulled the wrong lever. Oh, don't sweat it. Just get me a doctor. Alright, yeah, I'm 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 Seven oh seven two two. Product production has been secured. We sealed off the factories to keep the plant running. All superfluous systems have been turned off. Whoops. If anyone ever has to return, you know that the power flow regulator is hanging on by a thread. If you flip the switch, it's probably no turning back on. We're out of here. Ah, all right. <laughs> 
Alright, what's this black box? Warden unit. Wow, okay, okay. That's what that is then. Carl was not my fault. Seven, three, five. Keep pressing the wrong button. Let's try to get all backup troopers running and cut production to sixty. With all the evacuations, we can survive on low and a uh, low and steady hum. We need to strain the system. No need to strain the system, dear goodness. We should be able to get to 20 to 25 years of production before we have to fall back on the turbos. Robots are getting increasingly erratic over all over Pathos 2. Unfortunately, there's no universal coastage. Seeing how we won't return to Epsilon, you could try sailing off sectors to prevent helpers from getting on, getting to the sensitive areas. I think somebody had a crush on Carl.
Alright. I'm I'm I have to do something horrible. Please tell Amy. I need help. Okay? Hello? Hey. Can you hear me? Hey. Ooh. Oh, the more the limos. Yep, there we go.
Lisbon, Lisbon, London, Cadiz, Cadiz, or whatever. I need to fully listen to this one. They'll be doing the talking as soon as I leave for Theta. Say hello. Hey, Theta. Hello. Hey, guys. I'm Peter Stress, doing dispatcher of Theta. Just let me know if there's anything I can do to help. I suppose that's it. I'll see you real soon. When we arrive. All right, Jones. We have a safe trip. All right. Hello? Peter, was it? Yes, I'm here. What's up? We're getting out. I just want to tell you that I'm going to seal the comm center now, so this is definitely the last you'll hear from us. If we don't show up in the next couple of hours, send in the cavalry. Hang on, what's happening? It's still the same plan, right? Yeah. We'll head for the shuttle and ride it directly to Theta. Okay, good. I'll rally the troops for a welcome party. <laughs> what I like to hear. Well, we yeah, bet Carl never made it. Carl is basically dead in two instances. Let's work from closest.
Um. Site Delta offline. <sighs> TTOT. Hey, are you there? I found the dome ceiling. Jared, Simon Jared. Hi, Simon. I'm Catherine. Have you figured out what's going on yet? Me? I was hoping you'd have some answers. I probably have some. What do you want to know? Where to even begin? I mean, what is this place? How did I get here? And, and why do the robots talk like they're people? Well, you're at Upsilon, clearly. Have you never been there before? Where did you work? The Grimoire in Toronto. Is that really important? No, I mean, where did you work at Pezos 2? I don't know what that is. That's unexpected. Did you come directly from Toronto? Yeah, I did. And it was very unexpected. Have you seen any people? Like staff or field technicians? Only robots. Crazy ones. Except for one. I think he said his name was Carl. He was okay, but... I'm... I'm pretty sure I accidentally killed him by turning off the power. Oh. Well... You know, robots don't feel anything, so... Yeah. What was that? No! What's going on? I think this place is about to collapse. What do I do? Simon, come to Lambda. Uh, how, how do I get there? Would have that have been a funny place in stream? It's just black. What? What the hell? How is this possible? This isn't. This is insane! I'm a space man. Going to outer space. I'm a space man. Literally, the handle got ripped off this thing. Whatever it is. Now this is what I'm talking about. Oh, this is so good looking. Oh, that's fucking. Lambda, find the shuttle to Lambda. Ah. I don't know where that was at.
this is atmospheric and horrifying if you're afraid of the dark and of water. Or of large steps, I don't know, empty void. I had a weird, like, smudge on my TV. Uh, just got to clean it real quick. There we go. There's uh, like a VR, like, um, horror submarine experience thing that I once saw. Alright, I think this is just like a cool area to look at.
Fly free, my friend. You know, classic gamer strats to tell someone you're friendly. That's uh, concerning, is what I call that. Bye, friend. Oh, how dare 
Can you not let the whole universe know I'm here? Let's hope the shuttle still works. Thanks. I can't see anything. How did I... Where did I get a flashlight? Flashlights. Handy. the above golden goo hey are you don't hurt me can I help they won't let me die nothing is allowed to die what happened an accident fixing the power I was going to Theta. Anything I can do? If you see Masters or Holland, tell them I need help. Okay? Amy needs help. Well, what I'm about to do is is cut your life support. And one of her arteries. I think that cuts her kidneys and lungs. Literally made a whole set of lungs for her. No! Shit, are you okay? Are you okay? I don't know. I want to go home. Well, she wasn't.
Not like I got hurt, so... On this morning of January 12th, the comet Telos crashed into the Pacific Ocean. Impact ranks as one of the largest collisions ever recorded on Earth. All evidence indicates that the surface has gone completely barren and is no longer able to sustain life. Bathos 2 unique location has provided unparalleled safety for our staff. Some structural damage has been noted, but no casualties reported. The largest loss was the weather and communication station located on the on surface platform Omega unmanned, which is under circumstance under the circumstances a small price to pay. Theta will hold an emergency meeting to discuss the future of Pathos 2 and ultimately mankind. Over. Uh, more on the matter will follow. Overseer K for clearing. LW Tether, 250 meters, hazard report, helper kit, auto inflator. How there are bugs down here? I don't know.
Welcome to Pathos 2, your expressway to the stars. What started as a thermal mining operation in the 60s has now become home to the Omega Space Gun, the world's most affordable way to launch satellites and deep space probes. Our unique Atlantic Ocean location allows for this gigantic coil gun, running longer than a marathon, to safely launch projectiles without risk of damaging the payload with risky combustion. The station has had multiple sites and has a diverse staff of engineers and scientists. Together they are able to produce, assemble, and launch the world's most sophisticated spacecrafts. In addition to our principal operation, Pathos 2 is also the home for multiple research projects within the marine sciences, including hydroculture, turbulence, and deep sea construction. We are now leaving Upsilon for Lambda. Lambda is Pathos 2's shipping dock and transportation hub. There, you will be able to find shuttle trains leading to all the other parts of the station. And transports to the surface. How's the trash down here? Simon. Simon, are you there? Catherine, is that you? I was on my way, but then the shuttle train, it, it fucking crashed. Are you alright? The system says the section is sealed for a suspected hull breach. No, I'm not all right. What the hell happened to the world? Why are we underwater? Well, you're really out of place, aren't you? Look, don't worry about that right now. I realize you're confused, but you're so close to Lambda. If you just keep going. How close? Can I walk there? Yeah, but the tunnel is locked off to protect the overall structure from collapsing. What you need to find is your section's maintenance hatch. It'll lead outside. Maintenance hatch. No problem. What is that? What's going on out there? I gotta go. See you soon, Simon. Catherine? You okay? I'm obviously, like, super fucked up. Jesus Christ! What the hell? I'm thinking about calling it once we meet up with Catherine. And then saying where we sit. Where we sit from there. I think this is a lot longer than I thought it was gonna be. Here we 
go again. Give me a moment, I'll be right back. Alright, it's we go. I can find Lambda, right? I mean, really, how big can this ocean be? I mean, there's a reason why there's a game called Endless Ocean. Uh, really, hit the right angle and you'll be literally only ever at sea. That's Delta.
Wow, dude, they're really addicted. Human civilization. Well, Catherine's here, so there's got to be some human. Catherine? Be quiet! Don't look at it!
Simon, right here. Ah, oh, fuck. No, not you too. I was really hoping you were human. Don't let the circuitry fool you. I was human once. Can't take any more. This is... Everything's fucked. I give up. There's nothing left. Calm down. It's not the end of the world. You sure? It sure as hell looks like it. For all I know, there's no one left except for me. What do you mean? I'm right here. Don't take this the wrong way. But I meant any humans left except for me. Have you looked at yourself lately? You're a walking, talking diving suit with some electronics left on for good measure. I... I don't... You don't want to think about it? We'll start thinking about it. I... I... I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to be this. I want out. Before you do anything hasty, could you help me with something? What? I was trying to find out what happened with my project when that brute knocked me to the ground. Your project? How could anything possibly matter when you know you're a stupid robot in a stupid dead world? Okay, focus. I need you to fix me so I can get back to work. Then you can sulk as much as you want. You gotta be kidding, right? I think I have a better chance of building myself a time machine than of putting you back together. I just need to access the computer. Oh, is that an Omnitool you're carrying? Oh, the door opener? I picked it up at Upsilon where I woke up. I don't have to do. Plug it into the terminal. Sure, whatever. When the Omnitool is loaded, just plug my Cortex chip into the tool. What's a Cortex chip? It will be obvious. I'll eject it for you. Just grab the chip and slide it into the Omnitool. Come on, I just need you to do this one thing for me. Sure, whatever. The Omnitool is ready now. Should be easy enough. Just pick up the chip and slide it into the Omnitool. Why does a robot chip fit a door opener? It's standardized connection. Uh, Catherine? All right, let's give this a try. What's the project about? My project? Oh, well, I saved all the people on the station as brain scans and put them into an artificial world. We were going to launch it into space to save it from, uh, well, all of this. Are you telling me that you were going to launch a computer world filled with people into space? Yes. It was just a pet project at first, but it got really serious after the comet took out the surface. Then, suddenly, it became very important, and it was officially named the Ark. That's appropriate. How far did you get? I don't know. That version of me that I am. It came from a scan I did pretty early on. The living Catherine could very well have finished the project and launched it. I guess she could even still be alive. Huh. Weird thought. So the talking robots, are they also scans you did? They could be, but I doubt it. I'd expect much more sense if that was the case. Ah, all right, finally. What's happening? I managed to restore some data from the backup server. This should tell us everything we need. Oh. Could you do me a favor and run into the other room and have a look? I don't seem to be able to view the files in this condition. I need to know that the Ark is safe. Sure, Kath. Thanks. I'll unlock the door for you. Check the computer in the other room. Yep, yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. What was it you said before? You're from Toronto? Yeah, I just went in for a brain scan and suddenly here I am. That doesn't matter. How? Why would anyone bring a scan from Toronto? You think that's strange? What if I tell you it was back in 2015? Say something? Sorry, still trying to figure out how you got here. Keep at it. I'd really like to know who thought sending Canadians to the bottom of the sea was a good idea. No. Yeah. Oh, Lexi Graham. 
<laughs> Want to go to the bottom of the ocean? What happened before? That creature was strangely overbearing. Yeah, it basically exploded with electromagnetism. That's bad for us, right? Confusing at least. Gives the senses a good punch. Check the computer. Yes, look for anything about the Ark. Are you excited about the Ark? At first, I couldn't really see the point of it. But then I thought, why shouldn't we, right? I mean, if we are able to save even just a small piece of ourselves, why wouldn't we do that? So you are in favor of that. I think it's really important we do this. What are your thoughts on the Ark? It's a great idea. Finally, we have something to do. Am I right? Are you optimistic about the project chances of, um, about the Ark reaching space? It can definitely be done. You already solved the biggest problem, how to actually get us all in there. Now all we have to do is build the damn thing, and hope Phi is still operational. Yeah, I think we can do it, but it's not going to be easy. No. What are your thoughts on the art project? The idea is just incredible, by every definition. It really makes you think about what it means to be human. What makes you say that? Beyond the basics. Beyond the superficial. I'm convinced there's something with even greater value. You have provided a platform, which is not necessarily restricted to our digital progeny, but a means of actual survival. It's my sincerest belief that we can go on living through the reality of continuity. Is this from inside the Ark? Yes. That's some early renders of the world inside. Looks a whole lot comfier than this place. Uh, hell no. Is it, can you put a fourth option and say hell no? 
I found a tracker homed in on the Ark. Oh, that's clever. I wonder if I thought of that. Does it still work? I really need to know what happened to it. I think so. It's doing something at least. Where is it? Hold on. I'm trying to find it. Please let it be safe. Damn, I thought it was that Omicron. I found it. It's at a site named Tau. Oh, no. It's on Earth. It's so close to Phi, they almost made it. Damn it, it won't make it for long in that state. A couple of decades at most. That's not much to build a future. If we got to it. Could we get on the Ark? I suppose, but I'm not exactly flexible at the moment. I'll take us there. I can move, jump, swim, sort of. You're stuck in the door opener, the Omni tool. I'll just carry you there and you'll show me what to do. That sounds really risky. Besides, I don't like the idea of you carrying me around. Come on, Catherine. This is what you wanted to do. Your final mission. Let's launch the Ark. We would need to find a way I mean, to get besides, you can't do anything can't take else. climber without a power suit. We probably have to go to Theta and pray that Dunbat's still working. Okay, so we go to Theta. <sighs> I don't know. It's pretty far. Catherine, look around. What else is there to do? You know what? I found a sunken vessel just outside. Bet that could take us to Theta. Really? Didn't look completely out of action. It even lit up a little when I tried the Omni tool on it. Okay then, let's have a look. I'll just eject from this thing. Don't forget to take me with you. Don't forget to take me along. The Omni tool. Yes, I know I'm exploring. Shut up. Can I pull the Omni tool out? Wait, wait, wait. Okay, just be sure to plug me in again at some point. You got it. Good luck, Simon. Well, Emergency Vessel 4. Hey, Simon, can you hear me? 
I hear you. Can you get this thing running? Hang on, I'll give it a try. Sorry, it's dead. Worth a shot? The CV came from Curie. It was a ship that used to make runs between Lambda and Lisbon. Looks like their wreck is close. Maybe you can find a vessel like this one inside. Sounds like a plan. I'll just save the security information and update the Omni tool. There. Should help you get it around. Great. All right. <laughs> oh, the freaking door. All right. With that, I say I must bid you adieu. I think we're about a third or so through. I'm not sure. I took forever. So, thank you for coming out. Thank you for stopping by. I'll see you next time. Oh, I missed a few. Uh, whatever. All right, we're going to see who we can raid. <laughs> mhm. Mm I see how it is, pirate. I see how it is. Oh, uh, let's go ahead and raid Miss Lexi Grimm. She got a new tiny little chibi. Uh, model. And she's fabulous as always. Going out, show her some love. I'll see you next time.